Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, I hope all of you are fine uh, and are keeping well. Uh, so today is another day into the lockdown. I thought I'll make another video. So what I'm going to cover today are three topics, three quick topics. Uh, one is the center of gravity. Second is center of pressure. And third is the neutral point. Uh, these three concepts uh, are is basically the core of aviation, you can say so. Uh, so starting with the center of gravity, uh, the center of gravity of the body is the point at which the entire weight of the aircraft is assumed to act at or concentrated at. So basically at that point, uh, it is assumed, it's a theoretical uh, thing, it is assumed that all the weight of the aircraft is acting at that particular point and it is pointed down towards the center of the earth where uh, the gravity is pulling the aircraft down which we discussed earlier in, in the earlier videos so uh, basically uh, cg is calculated before every flight let it be in a, uh, a helicopter flight or uh, let it be uh, airliner or let it be private uh, aviation as well uh, the small uh, fixed wings which you see the cg is always calculated uh, and also the movement of the CG is also taken into account. Uh, all right. So uh, a basic uh, thing you can remember is as a CG of the aircraft moves forward. Basically, the CG uh, moves both longitudinally, longitudinally, which is along the aircraft and also laterally. So uh, what we take into account basically is longitudinal. So the CG uh, as it moves forward, CG moves all right uh, with uh, the reduce in fuel uh, with the changes in weight, CG will keep moving. So as a CG moves forward, the performance of the aircraft is improved. And as a CG moves backward, the performance of the aircraft is reduced. All right. We'll be going into uh, further depths uh, uh, in, in the future videos. All right, so next uh, topic which I want to cover is center of lift uh, or the center of pressure basically. So center of pressure, uh, as we know, there's a pressure differential across the wing or the aerofoil which causes lift. So uh, there's a, as we know, there's a pressure uh, variation all across the aerofoil. In this particular case, we'll consider an, an aerofoil. Uh, so if we consider the average location of all the pressure acting on that particular wing or aerofoil, uh, that particular point, which is the average of all the pressure is your center of pressure. Basically lift and drag are the two forces which are being taken into account in this particular case. So center of pressure in flight takes into account lift and drag. All right, you will see uh, you, a picture might have come up. Uh, so even in uh, the center of pressure's case, uh, as the angle of attack, I've spoken about angle of attack before, I'll be giving a link below. As the angle of attack is increased, the center of pressure moves forward. And as the angle of attack is decreased, the center of pressure moves backward. And both center of pressure and center of gravity are very important when it comes to the performance of flight, all right, performance of a helicopter, performance of an airplane, etc. So uh, now the third topic is the neutral point. So neutral point, there's a position in which uh, the aircraft is neither stable nor unstable. All right, the aircraft is neither stable nor unstable. That particular point is the neutral point. All right, the CG is moving ahead and back. The center of pressure is moving ahead and back. The stability is continuously being affected. All right. But there's a point between all this, which, uh, which is neutral. All right. There's no stability or unstability. And that is basically the neutral point. 